Now let's talk about the software that sits on all of those devices out there. On the personal computer, we had a very strong, very dominant operating system player. Meanwhile, in the world of smartphones and tablets, we do not, at this point, have anybody who appears to have that kind of ability to set the rules for everybody else in the game. Where does that power come from? Let's say it comes from 94% market share. If you've got 94% market share, you can pretty much tell everybody else what, what has to happen, right? You set the rules. Let's talk, let's talk a little bit here about, uh, about, about some of the operating systems on smartphones and tablets. Let's make up a name. Uh, who here uh, has uh, Apple, please? Let's see some hands. Apple iPhones, great, thank you. Blackberry, good, that's pretty high. Okay, uh, Symbian's smartphones, smartphones, not Nokia. A few, yeah, they're not, they need to get better in North America, no question. Windows Mobile, really? A bit surprised, because uh, they've got 8% market share. Uh, who did I miss here? Oh, Android, Android, anybody? Yeah, it's just, it's higher in the States, it'll get, it'll get there in Canada, it'll get higher in Canada. The point that many people are thinking about is, if I can use my laser here, this little robot from Android, a lot of people are saying Android is going to become the next Windows. On smartphones, on tablets, because it's an open source, free, essentially, uh, operating system, Android will become the next, next Windows. And I, I'm here to say, I don't think that's going to happen. Let me, let me kind of run through why. Worldwide, our friends at Symbian, They've got like 40% smartphone market share around the world. Nokia, they got a lot of cash. They're not dumb guys. They may go lower. They have been going lower. Are they going to zero? Anybody want to bet in the next three years that Nokia goes to 0% market share? No? I didn't think so. Um, okay, so Android's going to win. BlackBerry. BlackBerry's got 26% smartphone market share. North America. Who here thinks BlackBerry goes to zero? Not down, but zero. No takers? iOS. Apple. Anybody want to bet Apple goes to zero in the next? You see the quarter they just did last, last week? Apple's got $60 billion of cash. Want to bet they go to zero? I'm not doing it. Finally, let's do Windows Mobile. New version of Windows is just out right now. It's getting pretty good reviews. They're at 8%. In order for Android to become the next Windows, even if Windows, the old Windows, stays around, we will not see the emergence of a de facto standard. So. Do not expect what we saw in the PC world, where there was one company that was able to have 95% market share. Instead, expect what we have today, a fragmented market with many players, much more value uh, to software developers, more value to carriers who can pick and choose different operating systems as their hero, as their hero strategy. Different uh, differentiation from hardware manufacturers. Do I want to embrace this operating system? Can I play them off against each other? Can I add value that way? So our prediction is that even at the end of 2012, no player will have even 50% market share, let alone 90. And that's an important, uh, just if there's any developers in the room. One of the big, big debates you're going to see out of this is, who do I develop for? When I write software, in, if, it's a, if it's a standard world, I write to that standard and it runs everywhere. If, on the other hand, I'm writing to this new, more fragmented world, maybe I can't afford to support five different operating systems. I have to pick and choose which are going to win, which are going to lose, which my end markets want more of.